welcome back to the vlogs. We're at welcome. Main Street today, going to the farmer's market, and we're going to get brunch. I am going back to LA tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I thought you were staying for a little bit. No, I've been here for two months. Like, I'm going back. But I'm coming back soon, don't worry. I know you'll miss me a lot. I'm gonna back take you guys the LA lifestyle. back into the lifestyle. I'm just bringing you guys with me on my last day here and my first day back in LA. We just got back from St. Armand's in downtown Sarasota and I just wanna show you guys what we got. My mom and I got the cutest refurbished Louis Vuitton purses. This girl, Jaded Gypsy is her name, buys Louis Vuitton bags and turns them into like her own cool little designer bag. So this is mine and it has the little Louis strap and it's just like this cute pink cheetah print. Mom, you wanna show them the one you got? How cute. Look at how cute this is. I'm it's fuzzy. So obsessed with it. So cute. I'm definitely gonna be stealing this from you when I come visit. We're wearing matching dresses right now. These are from Princess Polly and I linked it in my clothing haul video that I posted last week. Yeah, show them Here's some suits. You guys, what's the brand? We need to, I'll link it below for you guys, but it's Hunza is the brand. These are so flattering on. We went and got all of this stuff at St. Armand's and this cute little bangle is from the store Shore in St. Armand's. Hold on, if I can put it on. Super cute little bangle with some diamond detail, not actually diamonds, but just such a classic little bangle and you can literally wear it with anything. And then you got that hat, where'd you get that? Shore too? Same. Same yep. store as we got this at. It's a men's hat, because I have a bigger hood. I put up a little question box for you guys on Instagram, and I asked if you would ask my mom some questions. What's the naughtiest thing I've ever done? When you were really little, but it was like a tag effort with William and Tyler. I was in the other room nursing Johnny, and I came out, Tyler, Britley, and William had poured a whole box of Cheerios, a whole gallon of milk. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> like a carton of eggs, flour, and they were putting it all over the reclaimed wood floors. We made like a slip and slide out of it. Just eggs, flour, milk, all over the floor and we're like rolling in it. And you didn't hear any of this happen? No, it wasn't loud. It wasn't a oh loud effort. And That's I just so came funny. out and I was like, Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go back in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done? Like either to embarrass you or I guess like to me if you remember anything like that. You were always wanting to be in front of people and talk to everyone. Anytime we'd walk by somewhere with a camera, she immediately thought that they were all wanting to take a picture of them and Britley. So she'd be like, <laughs> As soon as she saw in the camera, photo, posing, just posing for, and they would, people would laugh and think it was so funny and they'd end up taking pictures. So there's pictures of you all over the world, yeah. for sure. Oh my God. That's so Comment funny. below if you have a picture with me when I was little. <laughs> Last question is the juiciest question. Oh, okay. You have one guess. Oh, okay. Okay. What are you doing? Guess how many boys I've kissed. And if you guess right, you get to know, but if you don't guess right, you, you'll never know. You guys will never know. Four. No. <laughs> How many? No, you don't Preschool. get to know. You don't get to know. Kindergarten. I didn't ever kiss yeah, anyone. Yeah, you did. I did. A little boy named That doesn't count. Oh. Oh my god, don't expose me <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm literally about to pass out because I took one of my melatonin gummies, so we're gonna make this quick. I got my mom and I these little stocking stuffers. It's just like this cute little sample of these products. Is my key cooking. Is it beef? Yeah. Did you say first? So tired. Yeah. Okay. You mix the two together. These oh. are so cute. They're adorable. I love this. Kind of just like bend down a little bit. 
or open that's so short Brent. okay well here let me move the camera oh there you go i'm too tired for this mix a drop of these oh get your rose water it's right here we can mix it in i have one hold on i'm just gonna straight up put this like dot it all over my face let's put this on i love using this rose water toner uh, when I put my skincare on because your focus it feels like oh my God, it's focusing on you now. Oh, okay. It really helps you to be able to spread the product around. Okay, that was like I your show. One drop of Nubi, one drop of ginger. Just okay. shake it up before you use it. Here's what the cute little vials look like. Ah! Something actually was so bad. Ow, no, it hurts. I'm not tired anymore. I was. I'm too tired for this. Did you really get it in your eye, honey? Okay, yeah, I'm fine now. Whoa, this moisturizer is really like whipped and soft. It feels really good. It's wow, this so is really lightweight, but it's also like super creamy at the same time. You know what I mean? We'll see how our skin is in the morning and we will tell you guys how we like this. I got this at Target, by the way. I'm into it. Are you into I it? I am totally into this. Are you yes. into it? Thank you very much. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Holy Hannah. These are the melatonin gummies I was talking about. They are the Mood Shine Sleep and Recharge gummies. Two is a serving, and I only need one. Shouldn't have taken it as early as I did, because I still am, like struggling to pack right now. I have an early morning flight, so I wanted to take the melatonin gummy so that I would be able to wake up early and feel fine. And now like, I can't even keep my eyes open and finish packing. Good night guys. And night, night. we'll see you tomorrow. Night, night. Okay, really quick, cause I'm at the airport right now, but we wanted to give you the skin update. So I woke up, my skin was like kind of more dewy and I don't know, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, so amazing, but I liked I it. I you liked loved it? it. I feel like my skin looks a lot better. And I, you are like glowing right now. Right. I just got to my gate. I'm like alone. So that's why I'm pulling my mask down. But Once I. Again, ladies and gentlemen, for those customers on flight 37. Travel essentials for me. I just went to Starbucks and got some hot water. And I'm going to put my tea in it. And then I always bring like a little bar with me. So I just have the Go Macro. This is the Protein Decadence Bar. I just grabbed a bottle of water too. I also just downloaded a couple podcasts on my phone to listen to from the Skinny Confidential. And I just have my book, my journal with me. Bringing the tea with is a game changer and usually they don't even charge you for the water anyways. I'm gonna go bored now and I'll see you in LA. We just got back to my apartment and Aston and I are going to head to the grocery store. I'm going to show you guys what we have so far so you guys can see a little refrigerator before and after. Show me yourself. Show me. Oh yeah, Addison got me a little surprise the welcome home gift from William Sonoma. Mm -hmm. And wait, the spatula too. This is so cute, you guys. Wait. Look! <laughs> This is how you use it. <laughs> Stop. Ow. Thankfully, during my layover, which I was like 15 minutes late to, I had a little extra time to grab some fruit. I also brought some of my instant coffee with me. It always works out for me. Like, they ended up boarding a little bit later for the, my flight to LA because I had a layover in Dallas. I went to Whole Foods as well because they're both right across the street from each other. I got butter lettuce and these microgreens some little cucumbers, goat cheese, and olive oil. All of this stuff is for salads. Canned tuna, this is the best brand of canned tuna. Every single fish is tested for mercury levels. Hearts of palm, artichoke hearts, and some carrots to snack on. And then this is a Southwest chop salad from Trader Joe's. It is so, so good. Carrot ginger miso dressing is literally addicting. I could drink this. And then I got some hash browns for the morning. I've been craving hash browns lately and Trader Joe's had some. Butternut squash zigzags. I just eat, usually eat those for like lunch or dinner on the side and some wild caught salmon. And I got these two for breakfast. This is new from Trader Joe's, so I've never tried this grainless granola. And then smoked salmon for avocado toast. Obviously ride or die with the bagel seasoning, so I had to try this. This black truffle cashew pesto sauce from Trader Joe's too that I'm excited to try. And then avocados. And then for like little Greek yogurt bowl, I got bananas, blueberries, 
and papaya and this is the best greek yogurt you guys will ever have in your life it is hardly bitter it's so rich and creamy my favorite chocolate milk for some mochas in the morning i also grabbed this cream cheese for the avocado toast i've never had this flavor but i love miyoko's and i got their butter as well and then just this huge Asian pear for breakfast in the morning too. Dates for when I want to make my homemade milk. I usually use like the top and middle shelf or Addison and I like kind of share the middle shelf. And then this is Addison's shelf. Blech. And <laughs> veggies. And then we do like all of the condiments in here milks and drinks and stuff like that so i know what you might be thinking seeing all of this alcohol all over my apartment but i literally couldn't tell you the last time that i drank and i really don't know where it came from like i think people brought it over and then just never took it back with them just wanted to clear that up like those white claws have been in my fridge since i don't even know how long same with the rum on the top of my fridge so don't come after me i'm also 21 but yeah i don't know what's happening oh is, am i breaking out i'm gonna do a face mask tonight because you guys know when i travel i break out by the way you guys these ziploc bags saved my life i was gone for two months and then like i ended up you know doing some shopping and stuff but without these i literally would not have been able to fit anything in my suitcase we just had the best takeout from noma sushi and i just put on this origins mega mushrooms relief and resilience face mask we are watching the queen's gambit still if you guys saw one of my last florida vlogs we told you that we just started watching that it's so good so we're gonna watch that and go to bed and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning We decided to come watch the sunrise at the Venice Canals and it's so pretty out right now. It's so cold. This sweatsuit says from Talentless by the way. It's pretty warm. But... Wanna say hi to the duckies? Look how cute they are. Oh, that one's wagging his tail. <laughs> I can't. We just grabbed breakfast from Erwan. I got a coffee with their homemade coconut milk in it. It's so good. I made Addison get the cocochino. If you know, you know I have tried to make these at home and they're super good, but like nothing hits like an Erwan cocochino. And then what did you get for breakfast? A steak burrito? Got a steak and egg burrito. Got a cocochino. And not as good as the one she makes, but it's really good. Is it actually not? Let me try it. No, it's really good. It's really good. It's definitely better. Whoa. Can you hold my camera for a sec? So I can open my spoon. I really don't remember what bowl I got you guys. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good. Oh, this is like the Looks best like she hates bowl it. I've ever had in my life. Oh my god. Whenever I go to Air One, I always grab like all their fun specialty stuff because Erewhon is like really expensive so I don't just regularly grocery shop there. Organic olive oil and honestly I just wanted it for the bottle because how cute is this bottle? Then I got Addison these black truffle chips. Probably gonna eat them all before he does but these are like, these are addicting. I've been wanting to try these for a while. The vegan gluten free waffles. I think you just throw these in the toaster and then they're done. Edamame spaghetti. This is amazing if you guys like edamame 24 grams of protein in one serving and there's four servings in this container and then i got something from giselle's vegan kitchen this is her like vegan raw protein bar gluten-free refined sugar-free all that good stuff i've always wanted to try her stuff i see like people that i follow that live out here in la eating her stuff all the time so i'm really excited for that the last thing that i grabbed is these french squirrel berets my friend actually owns this company and she just launched an air one and these are amazing little like nut butter chocolatey bites honestly every single one is good but the sunflower seed butter is definitely my favorite i'll be honest with you guys this one bag of groceries was 52 dollars i haven't been to air one in two months so I just decided to treat myself. I just got done with a little Zoom meeting and walked to Tartine. My sunglasses look really cute on you. They're from Anthro if you guys want to get some. Picked up some sourdough bread. This is literally the biggest loaf of bread I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how many eat all this. Tartine 
ferments their sourdough for like three days and the longer it's fermented the easier it is to digest on people with a gluten sensitivity so I just picked this up for my avocado toast and stuff in the morning since I'm only one person with the whole loaf I like to slice it up and then stick it in the freezer and then just toast it whenever I want to and it works perfectly fine like I like the bread stays fresh for so much longer when you keep it in the freezer I've just been unpacking and I've been doing my schoolwork if you guys don't know I'm in the Institute of Integrative Nutrition right now. It's a really cool holistic health school. It's all online, so it's really flexible, and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Just make sure you check out the description if you guys want more info on that. But I thought I would do a live taste test of these Everything Bagel Seasoning Nut Duo from Trader Joe's because I have not tried them, and I'm pretty hungry, so here we go. These look so good. They're good, but the bagel seasoning taste isn't as strong as I was expecting it to be. I need more bagel seasoning. Also, I'm a bagel seasoning addict though, so maybe that's just me. I'm kind of scared. I am going to my first laser hair removal appointment. So I'm excited, but I'm also scared. Like I have no idea what to expect. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to that. Addison's on FaceTime, say hi. What's up vlog? He's eating a salad. Details on your salad for the vlog? Delicious, it's the Trader Joe's. Generic Caesar salad, fire. Fire. I am trying the little protein bar that I got today from Air One, and Addison is here to see my reaction. So here we go. Are you ready for this? Hmm. <laughs> That's underwhelming. No, like I'm so intrigued. What is happening? I don't know if I like it. One more bite. Yeah, intrigued isn't usually a good word for a taste test. Like, it's good. it's good, but I wouldn't buy it again. It's really seedy in the middle, and so it makes it taste like kind of dry, but it's not bad at all. I'd give it like a six and a half. A little half point to be nice. I just left my laser appointment. The lady was like, oh, here's a stress ball. The first treatment usually hurts, like, and then she was telling me how she was gonna up the level of the laser. She was like, so it might hurt a little bit more, and I was so scared. And then she does it to me, and I literally felt nothing. Like, at, while the laser is going on to your armpit, so is like this really cold air. It's like blowing on to wherever the laser is at, so, I literally couldn't even feel it. I go to laser away for my treatment. For dinner, I just had the salmon that I got at Trader Joe's and the salad, the microgreens with some of the butternut squash fries. And I showed you guys that all in my haul. What is, oh, am I getting a pimple? Oh my God, I'm getting a pimple right here on my lip. Literally, my skin looks a lot more rough than it is right now because I just derma rolled and I have so much oil all over my face because I'm washing. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about right now, go watch my nighttime skincare routine. I literally just did my nighttime skincare routine and I'm just finishing off with washing. But this lighting is not doing me any justice, but I am extra red right now. Wow, this is really... Nope, I haven't washed my hair in two days, so please don't look at my hair either. I am just really thriving right now. My face is burning. I am definitely going to be doing more things to get back into the swing of things here in LA. Like, I didn't have time to clean my apartment yet. I want to, like, sweep and mop everything. I was going through some of my clothes earlier and deciding, like, what I wanted to keep and give away. Whenever I go shopping, I always do that. I unpacked everything. It feels so good to be unpacked. And... I'm doing my skincare, so maybe I am thriving. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Addison's going to me. Hey, um, I'm ending off the vlog. Yeah, I'm doing the outro. Will you do my outro for me? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye, vlog. Bye, vlog. See you next. Please. See you next week. Tell them to subscribe. No. Oh, like, subscribe. Okay. Can you hit that button? Comment down below how much you love the vlog. Boom. Happy New Year. Okay. Good. Thank you for doing that.